Hi, this is Leah of I'm Here, I'm Queer, What the Hell Do I Read? And I'm here with Rika. Hello. Hi, so you have a new book that just came out. Yes, I do. It's called Seasonal Velocities, and I've been touring the country for, um, gosh, quite some time, and I've got some chapbooks out. This is my brand new first full-length collection. I'm really happy about this. Um, the book is a collection of poems and stories, and most excited, uh, I'm most excited about the essays that are in there because um, these have been things that I've been speaking to to college um, students and college audiences around the country and uh, finally get a chance to put them all together in one place. Uh, I can be a really hard writer to nail down. I do a lot of different genres, but so this is kind of like, you know, pocket weekend. I'm very, very happy about that. It's exciting. So, um, so it's essays about your experience as a, as a trans woman, as, as a woman, as a human being? What, tell us. All of the above. And sometimes what happens is, as a woman, and as especially a woman of color, um, we are expected to be confessional. We're expected to reveal secrets about ourselves and to sort of talk about our survivorship. And that's all in the book. But what I'm trying to do is to show the readers that my experience as a trans, dyke, queer woman of color actually didn't inform me about a specialized identity, but actually gave me a better way to deal with my humanity and to accept it. And I think that's a message that um, can be conveyed to all the readers, regardless of what their background might be, literally gay, straight, male, female. I'm really hoping that um, instead of it being a spectacle, like, you know, hey, look at the queer woman of color, that some of the wisdom that I've gained through the years and as, as a writer and as just a queer human uh, can be extrapolated and applied into the lives of the readers. Wow, it sounds wonderful. Tell us the name again. Seasonal Velocities. And um, I have it divided amongst different seasons, um, winter, spring, summer, autumn. I end on autumn because it's my favorite season. And another thing for those people who are into multi-genre books, I was so happy uh, that the poems and the stories and the essays, they all fit together. All of a sudden I realized that uh, for me, this sort of multi-genre book made sense when I adopted the philosophy of the Great American Musical, where sometimes I, I was, I remember, uh, sometimes in the middle of speaking, they become so affected by emotion they burst into song. Here, I'm hoping that you become the reader becomes so emotionally invested in the work that the work all of a sudden the next thing is a poem. It blossoms into poetry. Um, I think that the poems give my prose spirit and give and the prose and the essays give my poetry context. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that if you read this book, you'll agree with me. Anyway, I know I'm patting myself on the back, but I'm really excited about this book. I hope you are too. Um, if you're looking for something different, something new to read, just consider um, putting down a little cash and uh, seeing if seasonal velocities isn't something that might make your summer something to remember. Oh, thank you so much. It sounds thank fantastic. Thank you, Lee. Thank you very much. Thank this blog. And um, I look forward to any comments. Uh, my website is www.rikaryka.com. And if you like the book, let me know. I'd love to hear from you.